All right, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Much love and appreciation on the last few videos. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. Now, today we are going to be talking about the roster announcement from the Minnesota Rocker. They have cleaned house and acquired a brand new squad, and they brought some familiar faces from the esports Call of Duty scene to their team. I'm very excited to cover this team in this video. The Minnesota Rocker 2021 roster is going to be Priesta, Attach, Major Maniac, and Accuracy. You can see this on your screen right now. This is the team that they just announced, and I think that this is going to be a fantastic squad. Now they let out this roster announcement and they also let out a little video. So let's check that out here in a second. Yeah, here you find what's up. No players on the roster. We really got to brainstorm and, and put together a roster for the 2021 season with it going the 4v4. Dude, I've been thinking about that. It's going to be tough not having anyone on our roster. We really need to build mm -hmm. around some of the free agents. Can I can for sure reach out. Do you know who would round out the roster? Roster would be absolutely dope. I feel like we have to. Should we go after him right now? I mean, might as well. All right, let's make it happen. Yo, Lamar, we gotta go. Yeah, it's only right that the Iceman goes to Minnesota. Yo, Mike, I just got second at champs twice in a row. We gotta do something about that. I say we go to Minnesota and ice up, bro. Hey! Go. All right, so there's the video, guys. And uh, I thought they did a decent job, obviously, with everybody being at home. It's hard to make some cool content. And uh, I thought they made a pretty cool little roster announcement video. It definitely could have been better, but it's something special for sure. It's interesting, it's unique, and it's creative. So hats off to the Minnesota social team for making that sick video to announce the roster. Now let's talk about the team a little bit because I got into some battles back and forth on Twitter about the makeup of this roster. And I wanted to have a video sort of detailing my thoughts on the team going into to Black Ops Cold War. Now, if you look at this roster from top to bottom, right? Like you have champions on this team. You have Attach, who's a world champion. You have Priesta, who's won multiple championships. Accuracy, as well as Major Maniac. Both of those players have won championships on their respective squads. And a lot of people have been tweeting about this team saying that it's a little bit too slow. The pacing is going to be awful. Let's break each player down and sort of their role on the team. Now, obviously, let's start with accuracy. He's probably the easiest to break down on the squad. He will most definitely be the in-game leader, the captain, so to speak, uh, fixing things when they go wrong on the team. He's that backbone main AR who's going to do his job, and he's extremely disciplined. And in 4v4, his role becomes even better. As that in-game leader and that captain in 4v4, that's one less voice that you have to deal with. So accuracy's word and what he says will go a lot further with this squad because it's less players that he has to teach and rally together. On top of all of that, as a main AR, you can be a lot more impactful in 4v4. If you think back to World War II, accuracy was one of the best main ARs in the game. And on that team, he was absolutely slaying and at times was winning games for his squad. On 4v4, a main AR can be way more impactful. So for accuracy, this is huge for him going into this year to become a star again. He has that power and he can do it. Now, looking at the rest of the squad, you think about Major Maniac. Now, he was a main AR at times. He switched back and forth, and he's usually been a flex in his career. A lot of people are saying that Major Maniac is going to be that player who's a little bit too slow alongside accuracy, that that duo being slow is going to hold them back. And... I don't really think so. Major Maniac was extremely fast in Black Ops 4. I mean, he was so fast that his coach was even talking about him running a SOG at times. Major Maniac was only slow because of the players around him. He only had to be slow because he had players like Abizi, like Simp, Selim, and Priesta on his squad. Like, how fast do you want him to be? He has to slow it down to create some sort of order in game. And if you think about the one major problem FaZe had this year when they were playing Hardpoint, it was because the players on the team were too fast. It had nothing to do with what Major Maniac was doing. He was simply doing his job. Now think about Priest on that 100 Thieves roster. 100 Thieves was realistically terrible at the beginning of Black Ops 4. They made one big change, and what was that change? They picked up Priesta. He was the speed demon that came onto the team with a grapple SOG and was flying over hills, flying at people, absolutely destroying the competition, and he can absolutely play at a super fast speed. I think people get this confused with Priesta because he's ran pretty much every role in his career, but when he is that aggressive SMG on the team, he does a lot 
lot of damage. That's how he came up, and that's where he found his most success. Finally, to round out the team, you have Attach. He's a very smart player in Search and Destroy. He excels, especially in his 1v1s, and he's been running an SMG for years. He knows exactly how to be the support SMG, and he never actually gets destroyed. So his KD is always going to be solid, and alongside Slayers like Priesta and Major Maniac, I think that Attach is a great player to round out this squad. Another great thing about this team is that their Search and Destroy should be phenomenal. Across the board, they have star Search and Destroy players, and they also have the right combination of coaches, of analysts, of captains, and of search experience. I think that this is a team set up for success, and it, it'll really depend on what the meta is the like. New game the is game. extremely sub-dominant. If SMGs have to just fly around like maniacs, Obviously, that is going to be a problem with this squad. But other than that, if the game is a standard 4v4 Call of Duty boots on the ground, this team should be absolutely fantastic. They can adapt to anything because they have smart players and they have all the pieces that you need to be a great team. The last thing I'll say about this squad is I think that they're going to be extremely level-headed. I think when they lose, they'll be able to bounce back and fight through their issues. I think that this is a team that we'll see have a ton of teamwork and chemistry right off the bat. I think they'll pick up the game early, and I think they'll be great. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys sort of my high-level thoughts on this team. I think it'll be a fantastic squad, and I like what The Rocker is doing, cleaning house and bringing in a new squad. I'm excited for 2021 and what The Rocker are going to be bringing.